Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're here at Top Shelf Aquatics. I saw online they have a crazy sale. Mystery frags, mystery nans, guys. We're gonna take over and stock the JBJ. Let's go. All right, guys, so if you guys have been following, I haven't done an update on the JBJ for a while. And they got a huge sale going on here. Mystery NEMS, mystery LPS. So I'm just gonna risk my luck, risk it all, and get a couple bags and see what I get. I also need some fish. So. You think so? That's a bad pick. I can tell it's a bad pick. Someone did just get a Black Widow, so there's only one left. Really? Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is the one. Should I grab one or should I get two mystery NEMS? I wouldn't grab from the top. Should I grab from the bottom? I think we'll come back to that. All right, so, so, so let's keep looking um, because we do need fish, but we're definitely going to grab a mystery net. So in the JPJ, okay. I have a yellow tang um, and a pair of clowns and a six line rack and a diamond. Ring. Should I do it? Should I do the gem tang? The illustrious gem tang? I don't know. Even with 30% off, mm -hmm. still deep. They have such a big sale, guys, on coral. Originally, I came in here just to pick up stuff for the JBJ, but I might have to get something for the... Big this is. It's not even comparable. Yes, it is. Look, your back hands up, back so up. much smaller. Exactly. Yeah. I'm a giant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. While we're shopping, I saw the Captain Brady. Just first look at the price, guys. Look how pretty they are, though. Hey, going? Not really sure if they're reef safe or not. A lot of people are having good luck with them. Leave a comment below if you have one. Hey guys, so I just picked up the Radeon G6 XR15. This is going to be a completely different video. Um, we did grab some coral. That's going to go in the aquariums. And we're going to crack this puppy open. The mystery man. Who knows? Maybe it's a Colorado sunburst in here. We'll find <laughs> it's not out. a Colorado sunburst. Maybe it's a Chicago sunburst. I don't know. No. Super excited about this, guys. And okay. all the corals. Let's go over there and open it. Yeah, we're going to go over there. Let's go. Alright guys. Let's see what we have in here. Did you win? Oh I see green right. Oh my No way. Dude! You got a bubble tip. I did get a bubble tip. Oh Let's my go. god! <laughs> that looks like a black widow. Is it? That looks like a black widow. 351. It's a freaking black widow. Oh, no wait, way. wait, 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 how That is a black widow. Wait, that's $350? That's $350. That's a black widow. No Dude. way. <laughs> they only put like three of them in there. So you got Oh my god. Guys, this is not stage at all. At all. Nah. That is cool. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Up, you picked up perfect bag Thank Dude, we scored pretty good. All right. Nice. All right. I know. Wait. Wait, 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 can't beat that. Times 10. So we have the corals, we got the radium. Let's get everything acclimated. Hi, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. That is so cool. I can't believe that. So I just got home. We have some of the corals here, and I can't believe I want that bubble tip anemone. So I'm going to talk about this in a second. I also picked up 
Radeon XR15 G6. So uh, in the office in the Red Sea 350, I have two XR15s. Um, Gen 5, love those lights. Honestly, I've never seen coloration like those. Um, so I'm excited to see this. I know that the major difference is the UV. Um, so this is exciting. I also got the arm to go with it. But let's talk about these corals first because we're gonna be doing all of this in this video. So for starters, what do we have here? This is a Favia. I don't really know the name of it, but it's a Favia, rainbow colored Favia. And it had a couple heads, so I, I, we're gonna put this one in the office aquarium. I picked up, it was something berry Montipora. It's super green with blue, really vibrant, great pattern. Reminds me of a beach bum pattern, but the colors are different. So excited about that. Of course, the Black Widow, 350, got it for nothing, $30, 35, because I won the raffle. Oh, so put that there. And then I've wanted this Monty for a long time. It's an OG, super simple. This is the Jedi Mind Trick Montipora. So these are the corals. Now what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with the corals that are gonna go in the Red Sea 350 because that's super simple. That's cut, glue, boom, forget about it. We are gonna set up the Radeon um, XR15 with the arm and then we're also gonna place the other corals in the tank. And that's gonna be a little bit more time consuming. So let's begin. So I got my glue, got my putty, got my little bowl, got my little knife. So I'm gonna put two Montes in the Red Sea 350. I am gonna put the Jedi Mind Trick. And I'm also gonna put the, the green, some, I wanna say it was like berry something berry, I can't remember. So, I am gonna be doing a dip because there are some problems with that. So we got that. Let's also put this little, little one. So we have both of these. The way that I like to do it is I like to pop the peg, the, the, pop the peg off of it. So I'm gonna pop this peg off. I'm gonna keep that one on there because I'm gonna use it. Come from the back. Look at that little hitchhiker. Yeah, guys, you wanna dip all your corals. Unless you have a whole bunch of rasses and even then you wanna dip your corals. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of my dip. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got some coral dip, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna put two capfuls in here. I've been doing this for a while. So if you have your own methods of dipping, I also have a couple rasses on my aquariums. So they do eat some of the pests and by no means am I teaching you how to dip guys. So keyboard warriors, relax. I am gonna be turkey basting a lot of this to knock out any of the major flatworms because clearly we just saw one of them. Yeah, especially with Monty's, they sometimes come in on the frags. Here we have some fresh water. So I like to turkey baste them and then rinse them off. I like to do this for about five or 10 minutes. Look at all the gunk that's already come off of them right there. Some of these could be pods, eggs. All right, guys, we're gonna let these sit for about five minutes. I've even seen people use um, a little power head, but since we're using a bowl, we're probably not gonna go that elaborate because it will make a mess. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and then we will transfer them over. All right, guys, so now we're gonna put them in the fresh water because you don't wanna put any of this dip inside your actual aquarium. So that's there, I'm gonna let them hang tight. Look at the water. Look at this. Well, if you do have rasses, they will eat a lot of this stuff. Um, you don't wanna practically add that to your aquarium. All right. So, I'm gonna make a little ball. This is my favorite type of putty. It, does, it's, it still stinks, but it, it binds a lot better. 
and then we have some glue. I like to use the coral fix gel. I used to use the big, I think it was from Two Little Fishies. It was the big jugs. However, I felt like these were easier for me to work with and to get in smaller spaces. Um, and they're cheaper. They're like $9 a tube versus the, like, the bigger ones at like $40 a tube. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands because I don't wanna get any of my colognes or oils in my aquarium. Sometimes they get kicked up. So I just like to do this. All right guys, so here we have the Jedi Mind Trick Frag. So what I like to do is I like to put a little wad. I like to put the putty. I'm putting a little bit more than I usually would because this is going directly onto the rock. Wet it a little bit and then I'll put the other portion. This literally will make it bind so good. All right, so let's go put this in the aquarium. So I ended up removing my rainbow blast and put it in the other aquarium. So I do have this beautiful spot right there where it's gonna go. And if you guys know Jedi Mind Trick Monty, you know this guy grows a lot, super quick. So this should be a great spot for him. we go. This one I'm going to do a little bit bigger of a wad. And again, guys, if you're going to keep a, a mixed reef, you know, there's a lot of fish that will help you do a lot of this work for you. I mean, wrasses are great with eating a lot of the pests that mess with SPS. Like I know they eat some of the flatworms. They eat a lot of the stuff. But this was already growing with it. This was already growing off the plug. This was from Top Shelf Aquatics. So I'm gonna do some putty, actually some glue. Putty, like that. Wet it a little bit. And some gold. Oops. There we go. So now this is going to go down here. It is a little close to this chalice, but so far, I haven't seen any sweepers from that chalice. I'll let them grow out nicely there, and then if I do have any issues, I'll end up pulling them out and adjusting them. But pretty good, I love that pattern. Look at the beach bum next to it, so you kind of see the pattern similarities. All right, guys, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit, then I'll show you a quick little glance at the tank. All right, so quick update, JBJ 65 gallon in my office. So I am gonna be replacing that middle light with the Radeon G6. But here, not many corals, guys. So if you guys remember that big space invader, there's a whole bunch of chunks of the chalice because I did have a rock fall before I remade this structure. So, kind of bummed about that but i have some big chunks and i even put some frags in the living room we got a rainbow bubble tip back there which did start to lose its colors and i believe strongly it's because of lighting is not as good flow is off right now because i did just transfer one of my rock flowers in here 
But this aquarium is going to be the new aquarium where I'm going to be adding a bunch of corals. So I have a Nero right there, which is super dirty. Got to clean that. That's my Rainbow Blasto, OG Rainbow Blasto. Just moved them there for the time being. But I'm going to be updating. I'm going to be putting the Radeon, killing some Aptasia, and putting a little bit of coral in here. So this is the next step. Let's do this. All right. So here we have the Favia. I don't remember the name of this Favia. Do you remember the name of it? I don't remember the name of it. But it's nice and big. Whoa. Look at that guy. Can you see him? Bread, soul, worm. Freaking sick. So, these guys, if you've ever been messed with, like, poked by these guys, sucks. Super hairy. Look at that. Look at him, look at him. That might not even be a bristle worm. That might be, I think they call him a fire worm. Might be. I mean, I don't really don't know. But it's definitely a hitchhiker. And there's a flat worm. Right there. So. Yeah, I'll be doing a dip on this. Alright guys. So I just dipped this guy. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna eat it. I'm just kidding. All right, so let's go over to the room so we can figure out where exactly I want to place it at. Now, in this aquarium, guys, these clowns are vicious. Oh, look at that. You can already see it, not even in the water. Here, let me put it in the water. Look at these monsters. This is not an Ultron Favia. Well, it looks like it a little bit, it's not. Put it in there while I make the putty. All right, so I got my putty. OG Rainbow Blast, so I moved him yesterday in here. So I'm gonna have to glue him as well. Now these clowns are super aggressive. So some people don't mind that their clowns take a nip out of them. I hate it, not a fan. So I'm not gonna let them bug me. Let's see if I can grab it in here. See that? You saw how they charged me? I'm gonna put some glue. Putty. I got my secret weapon right here to shush them away. Because I hate being poked, I hate being bitten. This is not gonna be a permanent spot. But more like a temporary spot till I get them ultimately happy. I'll put them right there. That way he's next to this guy and he's he swells up I and mean, look how big he is. So I'm hoping this is a good spot for him. I am gonna be doing a completely different video guys on Removing Asterinas. Look at this guy. I can show it to you. See him right there? Like some fall. But this cream does have some Asterinas that are pretty gnarly. So, actually, it's not the best spot for him right there. Like it. I don't think I like that spot. I didn't like this one because he was, it felt, like, it felt like he was falling off. So, let's put a little bit more glue. And we'll find a better spot for him. Whoops, whoa, whoa. Right, maybe something like for here. Uh -huh. Right, like right there. That's a good spot for him. That way, not too high light because I just thought when I put the radion, it is going to be much brighter. So it's better for him to be kind of low light and get acclimated to the lighting. 
All right, so now we're gonna grab this Flavia. And then I do have to glue the scrambled eggs, which the frag's right here. I might not even need to glue him. I might be able to just cram him somewhere. This came from the living room tank. It fell, and honestly, guys, there was no place to put him in the living room. Let's see if I could just jam them in there, maybe. Well, that might be good in there. All right, so we got two down. And now I just have to find a spot for this Fabia. All right, so. Again, this is gonna be not a permanent spot, but not a too quick of a spot because I might leave it there for a couple months until I start to grow my corals out and start acquiring more corals. Okay, so here we have the frag. Maybe I'll put them right there, you think? He has his own little rock for now. That's a good spot. Yeah, for now, I think that's a great spot. Low light. And then remember, we still got the Black Widow that's going in here. All right, guys, here's the Black Widow that I got. I can't see how it's like wet it out. Here's the Black Widow that I got literally for $30 from the mystery bag. I look, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure if I were you, I would think it was staged because I, I can't believe it. Like, it was just crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to take this out. If you guys remember Fire Island, I did have a Black Widow in there. Um... But I'm glad to have another one, and it was pretty exciting to get them the way I did. So let me open this up and put it back in the corner. All right. Now with anemones, you're not gonna dip them. Some people like to float their nems. Look at that. Come. You know what's healthy when it's sticking onto your hand like that? Back up. So. You should ask to say what the primers were. I want to put them in a nice little crevice. Is it? Oh, he already gripped on there. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see them already opening up in. Now all the float is off, and I did just dust all the rocks, so it does seem like there's some detritus. But let's let that settle. While that settles, I am going to get the radion installed in this aquarium. All right, guys, so we have the corals and the black widow anemone in the aquarium acclimating. Guys, I am super excited about this. Um, yeah, this is the XR15 Blue G6 in the Red Sea 350. I have two XR15s Gen 5 and a AI Prime. Love it, love it, love it. Now, from all the research that I've done on this model, essentially it's very similar. However, the UVs are a little bit more intense. Um, I also read that there's an upgrade kit for your G5s to upgrade them to a G6. Um, not sure if I'll be doing that, but maybe this will convince me. So we're gonna open this up. I also got the arm at Top Shop Aquatics. They had a great sale this time. Um, and that's where I got all the crazy stuff. So I ended up getting 10% off because they had a pretty good sale going on and they never have discounts on this. So shout out to them. All right, guys, so we're gonna crack this open.
This looks pretty cool. So it looks very similar to the G5. So I also got the arm clearly to mount it. I'm actually pretty excited because if you guys followed Fire Island's journey, it was running a G5 and it looked crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm gonna set this down nice and gently. I also love the fact that this does run on the Mobius app. All right. So here we have, and this video is not sponsored, clearly I paid for it. Um, you don't wanna know what I paid even with a discount. Uh, so we got the arm. It's been a long time since I opened something like this. I feel like a, like a little child in Christmas. Boom, shaka-laka, boom, shaka-laka, boom. All right, piece number one. Great packaging. I mean, I, you get what you pay for, guys. Um, I think the arm and the Radeon at TSA ran me maybe 600 was it? $600, maybe 590 with a discount. So you get what you pay for. I do think in Nano Aquariums, AI is solid. I mean, I ran those for years. But ever since I upgraded to the Radeon, to be frank with you, colors have been crazy, crazy, crazy. And coral growth has been crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm not the best at putting things together. So let's hope we can do this all in one piece. All right, guys, so after a little bit of reading instructions, I was able to do this all by myself. I want to take all the credit for it. Looks great. Legit, guys, heavy duty. You can tell the quality is great. Um, you get what you pay for. So leave a comment below if you've tried these out. I haven't even seen these on. I'm going to be frank with you, but worldwide, might have had one on in this shop when I went. But I didn't even focus on those because I was shopping for it. Top Shelf had none up and running yet. So um, at least I'm in their store and their display. So I'm gonna be swapping out the um, AI Prime that I have in the middle. And then I'm gonna have this in two AI Primes. That should be more than sufficient light. So let's get this locked in there. Let's get it put in there and replace the other light. All right, guys. So it's been about an hour since I put the G6 up. I do have my fan on if you hear it a little bit in the background, but I mean, the level of brightness is ridiculous. There you can see the Black Widow. He's not fully open because he's still acclimating. I tested all the parameters, everything looks good. Alkalinity is about eight. Um, nitrate's about 15. So hopefully with this new lighting setup, everything just gets overall happy. The core overall have always been happy. Um, I just killed some Aptasia, so you'll see a little bit of the corals closed up, like on that candy cane uh, next to the Rainbow Blast. So I did kill some Aptasia. But guys, super stoked. The skimmer's working great. Skimming like a champ. The Refugium going incredibly strong. I just pulled out so much. So funny enough, I went to pull this out and that little grate came off. So the whole chamber outside of even this little canister container thing was full. And then my skimmer wasn't working because it was in this back chamber right over here, if you guys remember, and Chato got in it. So I ended up moving this over here and legit guys, just in a couple hours. I mean, the cup is halfway full, it's gunky. I'm a big fan of at first, getting your aquarium used to being dirty. And little by little, creating a strong, strong export source. I'm gonna try to reset the coloring. So it's not too, too orange. Um, let's see. But yeah, so little by little, getting your aquarium used to being dirty, but being clean at the same time, if that makes sense. So leave a comment below, guys. I do want to show you guys, I'm going to feed some pellets, see if my new favorite fish comes out, the engineer gobies, because if you've never seen an engineer goby, guys, they're a treat. It literally looks like an eel with a puppy face. And these guys are getting really chunky. So they usually, oh, there's one over there. Let's see if I get a good shot of them. 
Let's see if he'll come out to get some food. There's two of them that are paired up nicely. And they always come out. Let's see if they'll come out. Oh, there's one of them right there. Oh, where'd he go? All right, let's put a little bit more food, see if we'll get them to come out. There, you can kind of see them. Yeah, they're awesome. I have two of them in here. Now, you have to be careful because they will dig, dig, dig until they make their homes. And if your setup isn't sturdy, that you know, it could tumble your rocks down. So I do have two in here. They are paired. One typically hangs out over here, but they're exactly where he hangs out. Let's see if we can focus a little bit. And then one hangs out usually in the back. Guys, look how cool that is. I've always wanted to have an eel. The exposure today, guys, is terrible on the camera, so I do apologize, but um, I've always wanted an eel, and I saw these at an LFS years ago, and always wanted them because they look like eels and they're 100% reef safe. So, no complaints. All right, guys, so we'll be doing a reef update soon just so we can see how the anemone does. I do have a rainbow bubble tip in the back. Key is to make sure that they don't get too close to each other because you will have chemical warfare. The Nero is closed. It's turned off for now because last thing I want to do is create um, an enemy soup. Been there, done that. So we're not going to... Oh, there you can see them both. There you can see them both coming out. Guys, and right now they're juveniles. So these guys will get twice as big, twice as fat. Yeah, they're awesome. What do y'all think? I'm pretty stoked. All right, Reefers, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Don't forget, I can't end this video without giving one of you a shout out. So I'm gonna put that right here. Till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out. Bye.